several things you should never do or tell a narcissistic person as it will backfire onto you when it comes to narcissistic people they feel entitled to do as they please they're very exploitative manipulative people to get their needs met and they like the empathy to care for how this behavior affects you bearing that in mind this is why we should never tell a narcissistic person these kinds of things when someone has the empathy, has they have the ability to sort of stop themselves in their tracks. However, they're human, so they can still say things that they don't mean that hurts another person in any given moment. With a narcissist, they simply don't care. They care about what makes them look good or how they can get one over on you, how they can punish you. So one of the first things you should never do with a narcissist is criticize them or question them this leads to a narcissistic injury which leads to narcissistic rage which can potentially lead to putting you in danger it leads to conflict they hear you and when you're criticizing them they listen to you because it hits a nerve and when it's hit that nerve they seek to punish you they seek to hurt you they seek to make you suffer even if you're giving them constructive feedback to try and benefit them which is in one aspect unsolicited advice they are going to attack you and there is no low they won't go to make themselves feel superior and on that, you must never tell a narcissistic person how you feel. They can hear how you feel. They like the empathy to care, to listen to how you feel or how their behaviour has caused you to feel in some way. They're just looking to protect their image, which is why they're going to go all out and gaslight you. Tell them that you're feeling a little bit insecure. They're going to accuse you of being insecure and jealous. And as it's matching how you're feeling, it's going to create that self-doubt within you rather than looking at the bigger picture of, again, we're going on the, the symptoms rather than the root cause. And we have to look at the root cause and what's causing the symptom to treat the symptom. So, or when they're constantly provoking those trust issues within you, with a genuine person you go and speak to them and they're going to help validate you and reassure you and work together with a narcissistic person they're just going to accuse you of having trust issues and they're going to feel pretty smug that you care so much about them with a narcissistic person if you go and tell them how they've hurt your feelings they're just going to accuse you of being too sensitive and as you're feeling sensitive it matches what they're saying to you. So you go and work on yourself rather than what they are doing to you. So never tell a narcissistic person how you feel. They're not interested. You tell them to communicate with them and come to some form of understanding. Now, they'll manipulate you with their feelings to guilt trip you into living life on their terms. And then when you find about how oh, about this, you can feel like you've been guilt tripping them. When you've, you've not, you've got to look at the bigger picture. When you say no to a narcissist, they guilt trip you because they like the respect for your boundaries. When they go and lie to you and you find out, it's naturally going to cause those trust issues within you, which is why you need to break free. Never discuss their personal shortcomings with them, their flaws, their weaknesses, this highlights their imperfections and they become incredibly defensive and we know this because we can all become defensive when somebody highlights our personal shortcomings our flaws our weaknesses our vulnerabilities however the majority of us question ourselves and who we are as a person and what we can do to improve narcissistic person question the questioner what's wrong with you what's your problem they're not interested in learning or growth they're interested in selling that perfect perfectly crafted image 
which is why they will then go all out to attack you to make you feel bad and then accuse you of causing it and as you brought something up you can recognize that you're the one that brought the conversation up and you blame yourself and the same goes never discuss because you're willing to be open and vulnerable and honest to build that better connection you will most likely discuss your shortcomings your flaws your weaknesses your past mistakes with them and they will use them against you to manipulate you to get their needs met by you which again past mistakes is and failings never point out a narcissist past mistakes or failings they're not interested in learning or growing once you recognize that hey they've done this before and they claimed that they didn't mean it and they claimed they wouldn't do it again and they claimed it was my fault and they've done it again what's the point in bringing it back up that's that's who they are if i bring it back up they're just going to manipulate me gaslight me and do it again it's time to find a way to step out of this situation which is going to cause an awful lot of uncertainty however the uncertainty of walking away is better than the uncertainty of living with them at least you can go somewhere when you've walked away from them when you stay with them you're stuck with them and again with a narcissistic person they will bring up your past mistakes your failings to use against you to manipulate you into living life on their terms we all make mistakes it's those that learn to recognize and change that you can walk with and those that learn to manipulate and repeat that you need to walk away from that unsolicited advice not many people particularly like unsolicited advice no matter how well meaning it comes across when it comes to a narcissistic person they are arrogant enough to believe that they already know everything they already know more than you so no matter how well intended that advice is to them it's going to attack their ego and they're going to seek to attack you so never give them any form of unsolicited advice they're not interested and if you do and later down the line they realize you were right they will come up with it like it was their idea or like somebody else told them you never told them that you never helped them they're the one that always helps you and opinions sharing an opinion that goes against a narcissistic person's narrative they're not interested in looking at it they're not interested in looking at a different perception they've been programmed to sort of think in a certain way and their way is right everybody else is wrong even they can have somebody who's studied something for many years and even when you've studied something for many years you can still get things wrong yet we've kind of formed a society where we're not allowed to get things wrong so people then admit to mistakes anymore and say oh yes this is what we were led to believe based on this evidence and that evidence however as times pass more evidence has come to light and now this is what we believe yet if you don't believe what a narcissist believes then you're completely wrong there's no other way than their way so share your opinions with them they're going to belittle them mock them criticize you accuse you of attacking them accuse you of causing harm to someone or something and you could just ask them something in all innocence because you want to gain a broader knowledge base now a confident person who knows the information will share the information with evidence or they will turn around and say the, that's not in my head right now so I can't I can't find the words to explain it to you right now but let me just go and check some of my research and I'll get back to you or if they don't know they can simply just turn around and say oh good question I actually don't know that information I need to go and look that up a bit more an arrogant person will just outright lie claim that they already know it just so that they can remain in control 
Remember, when it comes to narcissistic people, don't share your thoughts, your feelings or your opinions with them. They're not interested. They're interested in getting their needs met by you. Narcissistic people lack empathy. Therefore, the best thing you can do is avoid all forms of communication with them. Yes, they're going to go all out to make you feel like you're mean, to guilt trip you into communicating with them. They're going to smear your name to get you to ask them to stop. They're going to play so many games because they hate being irrelevant to somebody. Cutting off communication with them isn't particularly to make them suffer. It's so that you can heal. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please do add those into the comments for people reading through. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continuous support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I must be sure this channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. I do also have a couple of books out on Amazon, A Narcissist Handbook, which is the ultimate guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, and 15 rules to deal with narcissistic people if you're unable to go no contact. Go out there create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.